Evidence has shown that even though red squirrels are asocial, they will adopt other young and raise them as their own. It is believed that this might be due to their altruistic parental behaviours. A biologist by the name of J.B.S. Halladine famously said that he would not sacrifice his life to save his brother. However, he would to save two brothers or eight cousins. It was found that in this hypothetical self-sacrifice, approximately the same amount of his genes would be passed on. Hamilton formulated a rule that states altruism should evolve when the fitness cost to the actor is less than the fitness benefit to the recipient, multiplied by the coefficient of relatedness. This will mean that the costly assistance is only provided to another individual who is closely related to the specific individual. Within studies of red squirrels over the last 19 years, there have been five cases of adoption detected, that the ancestry of the dam and the adopted juvenile was known. Throughout these 19 years, there were 2,230 litters of red squirrels recorded. All five cases of adoption occurred in different years with different females. Four of the five adoptions involved juveniles between 43 and 65 days old. The last adoption was found when a nest was observed and had one juvenile that was larger than the others. The juvenile was weighed, had its sex and inotches checked, the results showed that it was from the neighbouring litter that had been born and sampled five days prior. Tissue samples from both litters were collected and confirmed this theory. It is shown that a majority of the surrogate's litters consisted of either zero or two juveniles, while in case five, the surrogate's litter size was four. However, in this case, the juvenile that was adopted had a relatedness of genetic similarity of 0.368. In the cases of the two juveniles that were not adopted, the surrogate's litter size of both was originally three. The inclusive fitness of adopting one juvenile was negative for both of these. It is shown that a majority of the surrogate's litter sizes were either zero or two juveniles, while in case five, the surrogate's litter size was four. However, in this case, the juvenile that was adopted had a relatedness from genetic similarity of 0.368. In the cases of the two juveniles that were not adopted, the surrogate's litter size for both were originally three. The inclusive fitness of adopting one juvenile was negative for both of these. Evidence showed the predicted cost of adoption to the surrogate's dam grew. While there was a reduction to the fitness benefit of the adopted juvenile as the litter size increased, this statement takes into consideration three levels of relatedness. From the studies, it was evident there were losses of members in their own litter on occasion, decreasing the fitness benefit levels. However, the addition to the litter of the adopted juvenile outweighed the loss of the occasional death. The surrogate seems to have chosen to adopt if there was a relation to the juvenile. However, only one juvenile is ever adopted, and the contrary to Hamilton's theory. Since this article was published in 2010, the article has been cited six times. Although this article has been cited, there has been no updated records to do with red squirrels being altruistic toward kin.